Well, it's easy to get creative with pasta. Inspired by avalanche cakes, the chef at one Taipei restaurant made a cheesy sauce to pour enticingly over noodles. But how does it taste? Let's find out. It's clearly pasta, but not like you'd expect it. After you remove the mold, cheese sauce pours down like an avalanche, melding with the bolognese sauce to add extra creaminess to the tomato and meat. Garlic paste and chili are added first. Then it's the meat sauce, made fragrant by the heat. After that, it's the handmade pasta, sautéed in the sauce. To make sure the noodles are coated fully, it has to be emulsified with butter and cheese. Ladle it into the mold and top it with a snow-like cheese sauce. After garnishing with basil, it's ready to go. The topping is made with butter and cheese. When we make the avalanche, it all melts perfectly with a bolognese underneath. They also offer Sicilian pizza. The crust isn't thin, but made from focaccia, while the broccolini sauce gives a salty edge paired with plenty of stringy cheese. The green sauce spread onto the focaccia is made from broccolini. On top of that, there are two kinds of cheese and Italian sausage. The oven awakens the smell of the cheese. After it's sliced, the finishing touch is a sprinkling of chili pepper flakes. We use thick slices of focaccia to make the pizza. It's more common abroad since in Taiwan we just have round, thin crust pizza. For dessert, there's cannoli. It's not cheese inside, but ice cream with vanilla and mango pomelo sago. Italian cuisine is one of the most fun to play around with and among the most delicious too.